Omar, this whole back section needs to be uh, torn off before it has the roof put on it. I'm gonna go show you inside. Here we are inside. Um, you can see there's a couple pieces that really look shady, like they need to be replaced. I'm thinking one for sure, maybe two all the way across up the top section, maybe two on that side. These ones look okay, but what I don't like is the gap in the middle. We gotta close that gap up, and all over here uh, where it connects to the house, there's a whole six inch gap, and what I don't want is just a little six inch strip. I wanna take off, take back the plywood, so this one will take back because it's rotten all the way across, those two pieces but then shift it over so we have a whole piece starting here and going out and put, you know, the little patch somewhere else. And then um, do like a, a whole, like a piece that comes from here all the way to this joist. And then, you know, so cut back this part right here and install a new piece from here to here. And then same thing back here, cut it back to here maybe. Um, I just don't want a tiny little strip right along there. Unless, you know, you think that that's completely wonderful. Uh, it just seems like a bad idea to me. So, fill in the gap up top. And I think all the, all the pieces on this side are fine. Except we still have the six inch gap. So I want that six inch gap covered by longer pieces, you know, that go out to the next joist. Not just this little gap. And Omar, up here, man, it hasn't leaked in a while. Or I haven't noticed it in a while. But... There was some leaking up, up in that area before. So just make sure that all the, man, maybe it's that little, who knows. Make sure all the uh, ice and water is sealed tight before you put the roofing on.